So this problem says Alan is 5 feet 9 inches tall, Terrell is 6 feet 2 inches tall, and Stump is 5 feet 5 inches tall. What is the average height of this group? Since in the problem they give us answer choices, we could think about it logically first and keep in mind that an average means it's going to be like in the middle of the heights. So if we first write, because our answer choices are all in feet, let's write all of our um, heights in feet. Five feet, nine inches, we can write that as in feet using the idea that there are 12 inches in a foot. So we can write these as mixed numbers as five and nine twelfths feet for the first height and then six and two twelfths for the second height and five and five twelfths for the third height. So arranging these from smallest to largest, let's put the five and five twelfths first and the five and nine twelfths second, and the six and two twelfths last. Oops. Six and two twelfths, there we go. So we know that it's gonna be something bigger than five and five twelfths, but smaller than six and two twelfths. So first of all, we can discount option B and C because they are like way bigger than six feet. Um, so yeah, those are, those are out. To be able to figure out if it's five and seven ninths feet or five and one third feet, we need to be able to compare five and five twelfths with five and one third. So five twelfths, if we plug that into our calculator as, to get a decimal, five divided by 12, is 0.46, so this like makes 5.416 if we write it in a decimal. Five and one third, that would be one divided by three is 0.333, so this would be 5.333. Since the smallest height given is larger than this option, that could not be the average height because it has to be between the smallest height and the biggest height. So we could go ahead and say that our answer would be five and seven ninths feet because it can't be something that's not within the, that range. If you would like for me to walk through how we could go through the calculations to get that exact answer, that, would, that takes quite a bit more calculations, but I would be happy to do that. If you leave me a comment down below, then um, and let me know that you would like to see that video as well. I can work on making it. But I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody you think might find this information helpful. Thanks for watching.